as you may or may not know, there was recently a leaked list of Chinese Communist Party members, including people in some of our major banks, our business institutions, and even in some of our universities. This is concerning. There's also the Swalwell scandal, which is concerning. Hunter Biden's dealings with China is also very suspect, and it needs to be investigated further. Whether that's actually connected to Joe Biden is yet to be seen, but it needs to be investigated. Having said that, this isn't an indication that China is taking over the United States. It's certainly no indication that we're suddenly going to become a communist country. It's also not an indication that Joe Biden is going to allow China to infiltrate this country even more than they have. Now, I mean, gaming companies seem to be bending over backwards for the CCP, but they're just wanting to make money. They don't want to lose out on an entire market, though it's still something we should call out. But yes, China may have gotten to know some of our trade secrets, and for decades they have counterfeited many of our products. We should be trying to put a stop to that. And yes, Trump would fight much harder against China doing those things than Biden is. Absolutely, I agree. That doesn't mean we should upend the Constitution. That doesn't mean we should invalidate the election. That doesn't mean we should be all right with the idea of installing Trump for another term and turning him essentially into a dictator. What it means is that we stay vigilant and become more vigilant about this stuff than we ever have. It means that we call out corruption wherever it is. You know, if we end up having to remove Joe Biden as president, so be it. And besides, Joe Biden is probably not going to be president for that long. I mean, we can all see his mental deterioration. There will probably be something that has him step down. I've made it clear that I don't like Biden. My not supporting the idea of installing Trump doesn't mean that I suddenly like Biden. We should be fighting to stop any further infiltration by the CCP. China is not commendable. They're not the good guys. China is, at the very least, as evil as mainstream media claims that Russia is. At least. China has concentration camps. Wrong think isn't allowed there. You can't criticize the government in any way there. They have absolutely no freedom of speech. They have absolutely no freedom of religion. They have massive human rights violations there on a regular basis. They're not the good guys. Any attempt by anyone in a free country to put China up on a pedestal should be questioned and highly criticized. Having said that, there's also the solar winds Russian hack that occurred between March and June. We should be concerned about that as well. Now, how much Trump and the GOP will criticize that is anyone's guess. Anyway, that's about all I want to say in this video. Thanks for watching.